Lego Castle meets Lego Modular City. Let's check it out. I built five different Lego modular buildings for the most unusual backdrop for a medieval battle scene. They are all custom mocks and the skyscraper is over two and a half feet tall. I also made a single family home, a mom and pop shop, and two different apartment buildings. One with a bicycle shop downstairs. I used the new road plates from the main strip and side streets. I really like the new system for the Lego roads. I just need more of them. I also put together more than 100 different minifigs along with their horses, carts, and siege equipment. I also included three different Ninjago dragons from a few years back. They've just been collecting dust on my shelf. Time to put them to use. Let's start looking at some of the buildings a little more in depth. First is my two and a half foot skyscraper. I was heavily inspired by a YouTube video from Brick Vault that I saw a few years back. It was a mock of the Tribune Tower in Chicago. I used some of the color scheme and building techniques from that mock to make my own version. Let's start at the bottom. The tower's street level is painted white with a dark red and sand green stripe to represent the Octan brand. This building is where all the CEOs and upper management of Octan work. They were not expecting to deal with a medieval war on Main Street today, but here we are. As we move up in the building, the color scheme changes to nougat with brown windows just like the Tribune Tower. There's not much to look at here, I don't even have floors in there. But Moving up, we have a balcony with white railings where all the Lion Knights are attacking the green dragon that is making his way up to the top. The upper story changes to a gray and black color scheme where there are more Lion Knights attacking the huge red dragon. I'm not sure what's going to happen when that green dragon makes it to the top, but I'm rooting for the red one. He is my favorite. Let's look at this single family home on the corner. It's made mostly of tan bricks with a brown roof. There's a set of steps leading up to the front door and to the right is a flower box in front of the living room window. The whole house is modular style and each floor lifts off to reveal nothing. I've got no interior in there. You can see the steps inside the front door which lead down to the basement and also up to the living quarters. There's also a nice large balcony out front that the Lion Knight archers are taking advantage of and picking off as many Black Falcons as they can. Next door is the Mom and Pop Shop, or as I call it, Yo Gyros. I have no clue what that means, I just use all kinds of printed tiles to give the sign out front some flair. It looks like they even sell Lego sets in there. Out on the sidewalk, you can see the advertisement for ice cream. I think I got him from one of those failed Lego video sets. They had some neat pieces in those. There are two large display windows out front that wrap around to lead to the front door. You can see a friend's doll in there that I used as a mannequin to display the newest fashion. These large slope pieces are awesome with their rusted tin roof look. Upstairs, you can see the beautiful architecture with the lion sculpture protruding from the wall. The attic has two windows just big enough for another archer to squeeze out and pick off more black falcons. Moving on over, this apartment building is about to be breached by those black falcons with the extra long ladder. Although this guy doesn't care, he's getting drunk just like he was in my mech video. He has a problem. You can see more of that lion architecture on this building on all three floors. They are modular and do separate just in case I want to add an interior later and easily access it. There are more archers hanging out the windows and on top are some interesting characters. These two guys have the royal clothing on. They got the fancy torso and white pants. This guy has a yellow cape and red epaulette along with his crab claw? I thought this piece was real neat and I just wanted to throw it in there somewhere. The other royal dude has a fluffy white collar and a standard red cape. He's got that old chrome sword that looks so much more special than any gray one. The last building is the bike shop with apartments on top. 
It's a skinny corner building with a mustard and ketchup color scheme. There's even a bike sign hanging out front so everyone knows what's inside. Even though there's actually uh, nothing in there at the moment. Well, I did add some red curtains here and there, so there is something. We have uh, more archers hanging out of various windows, and up on top there are even more. Subscribe now. Make this number bigger, or you might end up like this guy. Let's look at some of the infantry, cavalry, and siege weapons down on the street level. First is the guy in the chopper with the ape hangers. We'll call him Shy. If you don't get that reference, how did you end up on my video? Go watch some Shy time and get your Black Falcon fix. Behind Shy are three cavalry reused from my medieval mech mock. That bearded guy is cool. I was inspired by, uh, I don't remember. I, I tried to find the OG designer for this prison cart, but I'm having no luck. I do know the original was uh, brown though. I do know who inspired this one though. The battering ram was molded after Kubrick's battering ram. Kubrick is one of the best castle mock builders out there. Go watch him too. I built a simple little catapult and I also built this little ballista. There's a horse drawn supply cart and also a saber tooth tiger transport. I don't know what they're going to do with that. We got another little supply cart over here. There's a meeting of the mines going on right in the middle of the intersection. They act oblivious to all the danger and fighting around them. If you're curious where I got those black falcon capes, check out my sticky bricket video. Just to the left of those guys are 10 lion knight spearmen that have begun to take out some of those black falcons. You can see the glizzy gore left in the street. Some of my favorite minifigs in the mock are the ones either being thrown off the dragon or the ones hanging from chains off the dragon. We got three Lion Knight cavalry down below ready to go rescue those guys being thrown off. There are over 100 minifigures in this mock. I couldn't believe it when I started counting. They add up quick. I'm going to use a lot of these minifigures and their accessories to add to my much more normal castle mock. This one was uh, really fun and different, but I want to get back to the more traditional medieval build. I'm going to do that. You should join me on my journey. Please support me by giving me a like and subscribing. I'd appreciate it. Until next time guys, I am out.